Right, so the wheel is held on by four 18mm bolts. And in the centre, you've got this plastic dust cap, so you take the wheel off and then you can just give this a twist and it'll slide right off. Then, in here, you've got what's called a castle bolt. So it's basically, it's only on finger tight, in this case anyway. Got a split pin running through it. So you remove the split pin, take this castle bolt off, and then just behind it there, there's a metal washer. And then behind that metal washer, you've got your outer bearing, which is a one inch tapered one. No seal or anything on that one. And then on the, there's another bearing on that side. You just see the back of it. And that one's got an integrated rubber seal on it. Both bearings are the same size. So I'll take the split pin out and the castle bolt or nut, should I say. And then hopefully the hub will slide right off with both bearings inside it. Or if it's like the other side was, it'll be a bit corroded onto the spindle and I'll have to beat the shit out of it with a chisel and a lump hammer. So there's your split pin and the castle nut. Cause it looks like it's got a load of little turrets in it. The split pin goes through the axle and then lies in the recess of the castle nut, holding it on. Here, hub came off with the outer bearing in it. Inner bearing has stayed put. So I'll give that a little tap and if God likes me, it'll come off. And if he thinks I'm a twat like he did with the other one, then uh, I'll have to bust the outer race off and start beating the shit out of it with a lump hammer and a chisel. So, fingers crossed. Well, much to my surprise, I'm obviously back in his good books because I just grabbed that one and it slid right off. So, here's where your inner bearing sits. Rubber seal towards that. That's where the outer bearing sits. And... Is it going to focus on it? Yeah, there you can just see the little hole for the split pin to go through when you've put everything back together. Here you've got the inner bearing with its built-in rubber seal. Outer bearing, which doesn't have anything. These are the cups that these cones sit in. These ones are from the other side the one I prepared earlier. So now, time to get the chisel and the hammer out and knock the tapered cups out of this side. There's actually, probably can't see them, but on either side, sort of at the back of each cup, there's a tiny little notch just enough room for you to get a chisel or screwdriver in or something to help you hammer them out. Then I'll get them out and give it a clean up and then see if I can get the new bearings back in. So there you can just sort of see there's a little indent where you can knock through from the back of the cup to get them out of the hub. Here is the inner and outer bearing together with the cup on the outside. The bearing part number L44643 Same with that, 
except it's got an L on the end with the integrated seal and the cup number L44610 it's just a standard one inch taper bearing but I thought I'd mention that because I couldn't find anything online telling me what bearings were in this before I actually took it apart I got these from Tur one in Hull and a princely sum of eight quid for one complete bearing and cup set you can pay quite a bit more than that online so either these are absolutely shit or tur one charge fair prices now just knocking in the new cups into the hub obviously they're tapered so make sure that the taper is facing in the right direction thick end to the center of the hub I had them in the freezer for a bit hoping that they'd just drop straight in but no so got them in so far by knocking them in with the old one but if I knock it in any further with that I won't be able to get this out so hammer and screwdriver it is Right, well, that's the cups hammered in both sides with the thick end going towards the centre of the hub. Next step, pack the bearings full of grease and the hub, slaver it all around the axle and then put it back together again. Right, so that's it. Both sides, bearings back in, pack full of grease. You can watch YouTube vids on how to pack bearings. This then gets slid onto there, put the washer on and then you use the castle nut to, um, you've got to stick the wheel on, do the bolts up, then split, stick the castle nut on and um, use it to preload the bearing. Alright, so the idea is that you tighten this up which will preload the bearings while you're spinning the wheel around so it gets the bearings nice and seated and you do this up pretty tight then you back it off just enough so that you start to get a little bit of forward and backward motion in the wheels so you can rock it from side to side a little bit if you don't leave that tiny little bit of play in it then the bearings are too tight will get real hot and uh, you'll have them fail too soon that's what the, the theory is anyhow so that's that and then once it's all done split pin back in fill the cap up with grease bang it on and everything should be right either that or you get halfway to where you're going and you're pulled over on the side of the road with your biking bits trailer knackered thinking why didn't I take it somewhere and pay someone else to do it. Cheers.